Hello and welcome to the task video for Grade 10 Euclidean Geometry. These questions will give you an idea of what questions you should expect in an assessment. Before we start, it is a good idea that you revise all the terminology and theorems for this section. The tasks in this video can also be found in written form in the series guide, which is called a guide to Euclidean geometry. Let's get started. Solve for the unknown angles. In the first diagram, there are two straight lines that intersect. The second diagram shows two parallel lines crossed by a transversal. The third diagram shows a triangle. Remember that diagrams are often drawn to be misleading. This is so that we can test your knowledge on the rules and not your interpretation of the diagram. Let's look at the next question. State with reasons whether each pair of triangles is similar or congruent. The first two triangles are ABC and DEC. The second two triangles are ABC and PRQ. Given that the following triangles are similar, determine the values of X and Y. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Calculate X and Y. Prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. Prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBE. If you have a summary of all the special quadrilaterals, I suggest you get it before we move on. If you don't, it is a good idea to make one when you next get a chance. Let's move on to the next questions. Prove that quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Given our two circles that intersect at P and R, S and Q are centers of the respective circles. Prove that PQRS is a kite. PQRS is a quadrilateral with its diagonals intersecting at T. The length of TV is equal to the length of TQ and the length of TU is equal to the length of QU. Prove that TUQV is a rhombus. In triangle ABC, points D and E are midpoints of AB and AC, respectively. BC is equal to 34 millimeters. Angle EDC is 39 degrees. Angle DEB is 32 degrees. Using the given information, determine the values of x, beta, and theta. In triangle ABC, F and E are the midpoints of AB and AC respectively. The length of ED equals two times the length of FE. Prove that BCDE is a parallelogram. The answers to these questions can be found in the Guide to Euclidean Geometry. Remember that you can find more resources on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Of all the trees in the maths forest, the Euclidean geometry bears the sweetest proofs. And with these wise words, it's time for me to leave. Goodbye.